you beautiful bride. Uh, what can I say? She is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've been with each other a long time, with each other fairly young. Uh, I think 18 or something. I was 13 years or something. We've been out, uh, and it was uh, it was kind of a whirlwind at the start. And I moved out of home quite early then, and the two of us moved in with each other. And we were probably advised not to, but sure. Young, <laughs> love's young dream, we done it anyway. Uh, and we went through our ups and we went through our downs and we've, uh, you know, we've gone, we've gone through the middle a few times but we've come back out and Granny's always been there for me and always been by my side and uh, she's my best friend and she's my guardian angel and I know I definitely wouldn't be here without her. So I'd like to, everybody to stand up and toast the bride. Thanks very much. To the bride. Yeah. When she was growing up, she was very easy handled when she became a four or five or six or seven age. But there was one problem with her. We christened her questions. <laughs> Where, when, how, why? And you could never get away without giving her an answer. She was always that inquisitive child. And she grew into the fine girl she is today, due to her mother looking after her very well. Take Grania as your wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. I do. Grania, do take Eddie as your husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. I do. When I needed them, good times or bads, we all have difficult decisions to make in life. And if it was a cook up, kick up the hours I needed, uh, he'd give it to me. Or if it was a pull bag saying go easy, he'd give it to me. And he was always there. And even the fact that he went over to Toronto, I knew that I could ring Gronya and then Gronya would tell Eddie to ring me because he was a nightmare with the phone. <laughs> but he was always there.
13 years ago. Small boy with banana legs that could peel an orange in your pocket. Crawled out of a hole in my knee, oh meat, and said, I'm going down to Busty Shields. And I'm going to get that Grania Shield one. And by God, he did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and toast for your bride and groom.